Hello everybody. Today's video is about runaway diesel engines. I will also tell you what that is in this video. This video is for educational and entertainment purposes only. Your comments and criticisms are of course always welcome. This first video is a classic. Starting a diesel engine that has not worked for a very long time and after the first few starts something goes wrong. The good thing is, is that in the video, people know what to do with such situations. Stand up, stand up, stand up! She is a... Oh! Woohoo! Something's up there, look at that! She's cooked! In this case, according to the author, it ended only after the engine ran out of fuel and oil. Of course, I know almost all of my YouTube viewers are professionals, but I'll still tell you what it is and why it happens. Diesel engine runaway is a rare condition affecting diesel engines, in which the engine draws extra fuel from an unattended source that overspeeds at higher and higher RPM, producing up to 10 times the engine's rated output until destroyed by mechanical failure or bearing seizure due to a lack of lubrication. Another case happened in Indonesia. Unfortunately, there was no one here who knew that something was needed to plug the engine air intake and that it would stop. To everyone's surprise, after this performance, the engine started and the car drove itself off the road. This video was sent to me by a customer and colleague who was testing a few units he bought at auction. They did eventually get it shut off, but there was no doubt he and the mad scientist had to rip apart the engine block and replace the piston rings they fried. Are you gonna turn it off? Yeah, it's running away. It's running on crank tape. So... Play the exciting moment of hearing this two-stroke diesel come back to life after sitting for 30 years. Let's do it. Oh, she's a runner. 
sounds great. <laughs> I remind you that you can see the full video at the link in the description. I have shown a small part of it. Oh, God. This incident took place at the burnout competition. Here, too, everything ended after the air supply to the engine was shut off. Driving down Furrs Road, Eastern Creek, I see this belching cloud of smoke in SMP driveway. So I pulled over to get a video and see if I could help out. Luckily, the truck had a good clutch in it, and I was able to stall the engine by dumping the clutch into fifth. If left, the engine would have ceased after it had consumed all of its engine oil. And it all ends again after the engine runs out of oil. Thanks for watching and good luck.